A disclaimer before the video starts is that the stock model replacement pack does take up some performance of the computer. So if your computer is already bad or lagging, this is not a recommended thing to do. But if your computer can handle it fine and you want to pre your stock models, this is completely okay. But keep in mind that if it starts to lag after this, that might be because it's heavier on the computer. Today we're going to take a look at how to replace the stock models on MX Simulator whilst using a Mac installation of MX Simulator. So first off you want to go to the latest models and skins replacement thread. That link will be in the description below, uh, the latest one for when this is recorded at least. So this 2017 stock model replacement pack, uh, you want to download this one, download that. You want to go to the old 2016 one, download this one as well, and you want to go to the first one. Uh, you want to download the this one and the update one, and all those four downloads are required to get all the models replaced. If you miss one, not all models will have a replacement. So once all of those are downloaded, uh, you want to go to your downloads folder or wherever they are saved. I am going to extract them. So extract into the downloads folder. Doing the same for all four. And the last one. So some of them are quite big, that's it because there's a lot of bikes in, in them, especially one of them. You can see that these ones are faster. So Notice we have four folders, uh, this is the original one, uh, containing most of the stuff. This has the 2013 files, I believe. Uh, also, what I usually do uh, is I merge these files, so copy these into this, then replace the ones prompted to be replaced. So notice, from the RPP2-1, which is the update, you want to copy those and replace the old ones. Or at least that's how I like to do that. So at this point we can go ahead and delete this folder. Now we want to go ahead and copy these ones. So copy somewhere, copy free items. And then you want to go to the program files folder, which is this one. If you are unsure of which one that is, you can go here. And uh, shift command g dot wine. My bad. I'm gonna go to your home folder. So sh command shift g dot wine. Drive c program files mx simulator. And then paste free items. Once we open up mx simulator, we should now have the stock models replaced. So let's see. Let's see if the Husky one works, that's the latest. Let's load up track that isn't too demanding and see if it works. Also, if it lags terribly, I'm super sorry for that. But as you can see, I do have a nice Husky model. So that's how to replace the stock models on a Mac installation of MX Simulator. 